Another of Poundland's finest LED products for the discerning connoisseur. This is a cob key light. The idea is that you put it on your keychain and it has, well as the package alludes to here, it, it's available in several colours and it has this little cob array chip on board. Let's rip into it. I don't think this is going to take very long. I don't expect to be too complicated. It does have the dreaded feature, which you'll see shortly. I've not actually even seen one of these lit yet. But as the dreaded feature listed in the packaging that it has the low mode, high mode and flashing. So here's the little plastic tab pulls out. Where does that pull out from? Ooh, if that was a little afterthought there. So high mode, low mode and of course flashing. Okay, let's open it up. It could be quite useful. It seems bright enough. It takes, is it one CR2032 or two? Let's open it up and find out. I'm guessing this is why that old plastic tab was in there. Ooh, all right, okay. It takes a stack of two CR2032s. The circuit board, I'm guessing, has a chip on board as well. Oh, and the cob slides out. That's an interesting construction. It's notable that it's bent. Is that deliberate? Looks like it. I've never seen that, the cob bent like that. Let's uh, bring the focus up just a little bit higher. So let's grab the packaging. And we'll bring the focus up to about here. So let's take a look at the circuit board. There is the little chip. There's a standard tactile switch. Uh, hold on, let's just bring this right up because it's tiny. Let's focus on this and zoom in a little bit more. So we've got the resistor going out to the LEDs. It's limiting the current to them. Um, what value is that? Is that about an ohm? I can't actually read that, even in the screen here. Hold on, let's... Oh, I'm trying to hold it steady. Sorry, this is the... It's one ohm, right? Okay, so I'm going to nudge back out here so it's better. Detail. And focus again. One day I'm going to focus and it's just going to be completely out of focus as has happened in the past. So there's the chip, which I'm guessing is going to be anonymous. So I'll have a closer look at it later and if I see any number on it, I'll leave it in the description down below. But there's the little decoupling capacitor. So we've got the battery supply coming from the back. Um, it's a single-sided circuit board. I'm guessing this little wire here must be making connection with the battery. Not sure, actually, because you'd have thought it would link right across. Oh, it is. It's linking across there through the actual the button, going to the chip, and the other connection of the chip goes up here, and then you've got the decoupling capacitor. So it really is the absolute most basic. It's a, a switch, and uh, the chip itself with a decoupling capacitor and then a resistor, one ohm resistor, to limit the current through the LED cob. So what could this be used for? Well, I would say that the it could be a handy source let's go right back down there it could be a handy source of a little cob array like this it's tiny it's got a uh, one two three four five six chips in it it could be a source of a couple of uh, two or three two cells let's push them out and it could be a source of well this button incidentally Oh, that's worth mentioning. This button is the same one as used in some Ford remote controls. So technically speaking, if you had the key fob that needed this style of button, it means you can get one for a pound out of Poundland in this product. Just desold it and stick it in another product. And you get the little chip and a resistor and a capacitor. It's, it's usable for the components. You could actually just hook a, another battery to it and use it as a light control for controlling some other lighting array. So as with most Poundland products, uh, it's functional, it does the job, but more importantly, it could be a source of donor components for your own other projects. Oh, see these coins here? That's because I zoomed out too far, didn't I? Yeah, they were supposed to field it in. This, I really am just working on the fly at the moment. Uh, I'm not on my bench, I usually have it marked off, uh, but uh, because I'm working out of accommodation at the moment uh, on a show, uh, it just means that everything's going to be a bit less professional, shall we say. So that show, incidentally, uh, we had our first full uh, audience run yesterday. With a, it was a dress rehearsal the day before. 
couple of shows, but uh, yesterday was the full run through of the actual show, and today is Saturday, and that means, well, it is where I am right now when I'm recording this, and that means we've got two shows today. Uh, so it's going to be a busy day, but we get tomorrow off, so that's quite good. So, um, yeah, the synopsis of this typical Poundland product is it's a bit chunky for a keychain. I still prefer, hold on, where is my preferred keychain? I, um, oh, hold on, I'm going to have to hide all these keys here. Uh, my preferred is the Nightcore tube still because it is much smaller. You can see that in scale it's it's tiny and it's rechargeable. But the uh, the Poundland one is a, a very good source of donor components for personal projects. I'm looking at the back of this and I'm seeing that little metal stud there. Oh, that is the stud contact. That's odd. They've got the contact coming through. Uh, hold on, let me show you this. So let's bring it up here. And folks in that, Th that's the stud contact makes the negative contact with the battery stack. But it's really, instead of being in the middle because the switch is there, they've just put it off to the side. That's unusual. And that's where it comes through there. That's odd. But uh, other than that, you know, it's not bad at all. It's just a good source of components, especially as I say, that little style of uh, switch. That's really useful to know they have them in these products for salvage. <laughs> 